Quick public service announcement hitting you from behind my extremely messy desk to say that if we hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, I will eat the world's spiciest pepper, the Carolina Reaper. So if you want to see me suffer, hit the subscribe button. See ya. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are playing in our Magic the Crafting world as I guess uh, you may have guessed from the title and... Hopefully you expected us to play on this world since you clicked it, but uh, in between episodes, I have done a couple things. Uh, I started looking through the Creepers Compendium to look at all the Creepers Code features because we did add that in the last episode. I didn't actually play around with it, though, um, in the last episode, but I did do that in between episodes, and we have these four items that I've gotten. So first off, Boomerang pretty cool look it works like an actual boomerang you know you throw it and then it comes back to you uh and that will damage as many uh monsters as that as it hits uh there's the teapot which is a very cool item um it allows you to get different types of teas um which will we will be exploring later they give you all sorts of special buffs uh there's the wrench which flips blocks around and also has a couple other um, a couple other uses in the Creeper's Code. And then, of course, there's Golden Gary, the snail. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, I also found a brown one, but I didn't save that one because I didn't have a bucket for it. But those spawn in swamps, and they have a couple other features that can be very useful for farms uh, in the future. The only other thing that I did in between episodes was uh, make this little calf farm so that we can breed them up. Oh, jeez. I did not mean to teleport there. But we can breed them up to get enough leather uh, to make the bookshelves for our enchantment table. Because we, <laughs> we still haven't done that yet and I should probably get on it. But first things first, let's actually get into the video and head up this ladder all the way up to the Feywild. All right, we're at the very top of our ladder, uh, all the way up at y equals 305. And if we just head up a little bit farther, we get, come on, transport me. There we go. We get transported to the Feywild. And I did lie when I said that the only other thing that I did in between episodes was the cow farm. Because I did come in here, I made a little bridge up and also... Uh, these two things, which I will explain in a second, they are actually from one of the structures, which I <laughs> I tried to take down and I failed to take down, which I guess I deserve for doing it a bit early. But I did actually gather the loot. These two are from that, uh, as, as well as my ender pearls and my bottles of enchanting. Those were both loot in that structure. And actually, that structure is... Load in, come on. Wait for it. There it is, right over there, the pool structure. It is full of shulkers and has some decent loot, which I guess I should now explain. Uh, we have the mass heal book, which, here, if I just uh, quickly get hurt. Come on. Oh, jump boost is stopping me from getting hurt. Just wait, let me tower up. So, what it does is it heals me as you might have guessed but oh shoot now i have to i have to get rid of the pole uh but the other thing the fey wild portal key uh i i think i'll save what that does in the <laughs> until we actually find what it's used for that is not in this dimension but it is in the dimension that we will hopefully get to today but as you can see, there are some blue shulkers. Uh, they're called the pool shulkers. I think they have an actual name tag on them. Yep. And you can see where I killed one. But uh, this thing, this structure, is very dangerous for an enderman like I. Because, uh, well, because, you know, water, water kind of hurts me. So it's a bit rough to get around. But that is already six shulker shells, and I've barely done anything. Oh, it looks like this guy teleported? Wait, where... Where was that coming from? Is there a shulker down there? Am I misseeing that? I think I'm misseeing that. But there was... 
there was definitely shulker bullets coming from down there. Am I am I hallucinating, or was or was there shulker shells coming from down there, or shulker bullets? I don't know. But uh, the way that these structures work is that you can see those barrels down at the bottom, and that's what holds the loot full of uh, bottles of enchanting and pearls, and occasionally something good like the portal key and uh, a spell book, and. Speaking of the spell books, there are 13 of them, each doing uh, its own crazy thing. And this one is not the best one that you can get, but it is most definitely useful. Uh, but uh, because that obviously wasn't, uh, wasn't too good for content, the fact that I pre-rated it, uh, I didn't raid that one until I knew that I, uh, that I had another one. Which uh, is true, because I have found another one somewhere around here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I might have to refind it, but I do have uh, another one all set up and ready to conquer. And then uh, you can actually see all the loot. There it is, right over there. Uh, yet another pool. Uh, I think it's a fey. I think it's uh, called a fey wild pool, but. I don't know the official, uh, the official name, but the way that I did the other one was I just dug under it to get the loot, and then obviously you just shot, saw me kill all the shulkers. But I don't. I think I want to actually, you know, take this one down before, uh, before I get all the loot. So first things first. Okay, I have levitation. I'm surprised that I dodged levitation for that long, but. Now comes the job of trying to break all the shulker shells until I fall back down. And then we just have to continue. Alright, let's get away from the shulkers while we use mass heal. Because when we use mass heal, uh, the shulkers also get healed. Which is not good. But, oh. Got that one. Alright, now it's time for this one. Come on. There we go, we got him. Ah, that's a lot of shulker shells. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. There's a there's a reason why <laughs> why end cities are a late game. Like finish the dragon thing. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I'm on a half a heart. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do two. Uh the way that mass heal works is that it takes uh two of your experience points to actually use the spell. Uh which isn't too much, but it does add up over time if you use it, uh, if you use it a lot, so I'm going to try and conserve, conserve my levels, but it isn't too much of an issue seeing as we get XP points for just being in the Feywild. Oh my goodness, that's a lot! <laughs> okay, just gotta dodge and weave, and then float back down, because in the Feywild... There is a mechanic where when you sneak, you get, um, you get, ah, 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 no, no, oh my goodness. When you sneak, you get, ah, I can't think of it. I can't, I, okay, what is it? My mind has just blanked. It's slow falling, that's what it is. You get slow falling when you sneak, so when stuff like this uh, happens, you don't have to worry too much. Yes! Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. No. Okay. I can't kill it. It's too low. <laughs> I keep on getting hit by the shulker bullets. There we go. One hit. Yes! Come on. Ah! No. 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 I'm getting way too low for comfort. Come on. Okay. We're still floating. That's fine. Okay, one more shulker left, and then we can head on in and get the loot. Alright. Oh, there's two shulkers. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! I almost died there. It's fine, though. I, I couldn't hit him. Why couldn't I hit him? Oh, man, this is going to be a long fight. Uh, I will cut to when I have finished... Killing these guys. Oh my goodness. This is so annoying. Okay. They're all dead. The only problem is I still have to deal with all the shulker bullets Okay, okay, okay time to dodge and weave all these guys. 
Oh boy. Oh no, that's a lot. And now I'm about to die again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think I if I get hit by one, I'm dead. Oh no, I got hit by one. <laughs> I'm not dead. Alright. I don't know how to dodge these shulker bullets. This is not good. Oh, this really isn't good. No. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that didn't work out as planned. Alright. Time to head back up. And Feywild time. Okay, we have made it back. All safe and sound. And the next thing to do is try to loot this. Let's see. Yes, we can get close enough. So, we have enderpearls, cobwebs, and bottles of enchanting. If we head over here... Come on, this is like the only way that I can loot this without dying. More bottles of enchanting, uh, more cobwebs, and more ender pearls. Come on, give me another spell. There's a specific spell that I really want. Ah, oh, no, come on. Okay, one last chance. One last chance at getting the spell. Why is there a lily pad there? Uh, one last chance at getting the spell. No! Ah, oh, we didn't get any. Okay, uh, I guess I should say now, the spell that I wanted is, uh, it's one that you spend one experience point, and then you get a flying boat, and, uh, it's, it's a great spell, one of my favorites, just because it's so useful to get around, and, yeah, but we didn't get it, that's fine, though, uh, we'll always have other chances once I get out of the water, <laughs> um, and... Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. This is another thing about the Feywild, is that phantoms always spawn. Ooh, either I went in a pool, or I, either I went in a circle, or that's another pool. Okay, another chance at finding, uh, at finding some more spells. So, let me just take this down, that's the coordinates, and then I'll see you once all these guys are dead. Alright, uh, all the guys are dead, and it's just this phantom that keeps annoying me. But, let's see, let's see, what loot did we get? Oh, that's a book, I think that's heal again. Yeah, we just got another heal. Uh, which is good if we somehow manage to lose this one, but for the most part, that is... Not the best RNG that we could have gotten. Okay. He's still just chilling. Ah, nope. Go away. Alright, next one. Nope, not what I meant. Come on. There we go. More cobwebs, more bottles of enchanting, and some more ender pearls. What about... That one. Nope. Just some more bottles of enchanting, ender pearls, and cobwebs. Uh, what can we throw out? We don't need spider eyes. And then last one. Come on, you're my final hope. No. Uh, more of the same. All right, time to go structure hunting again. You know, I can't believe I'm this stupid, but I I was wondering like how I was going to store more loot because I'm running out of inventory space. You ready? Watch this. Watch, watch this. I don't think that you're prepared for the stupidity that I have just had. I can just do that. What I have been collecting what I need to stop my inventory management problems this entire time. What am I thinking? Like, just thinking, oh, I, I am running out of inventory space. No, I'm not. I have 16 more shulker boxes. Or potential shulker boxes. That is about 16 more inventories that I can have. And I just was here thinking, oh, no, I'm running out of inventory space. One of my actual problems, though, is that I have just been stupid enough to get stuck down here. I feel like I can make this jump. With my teleport power, I just don't know. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure. Can I just teleport? Oh, I can just teleport over there. Here I was thinking that I need to make, like, some dramatic jump all the way over. 
and like teleport halfway through. No, I can just teleport over. That is four spiders and a creeper right there. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is the most amount of mobs I have seen in the Feywild for a while. Like for a second I was thinking, oh maybe uh maybe they toned down the mob count. No, no. <laughs> The devs definitely did not do that. The Fey Wild definitely is the same amount of hostile. I just hadn't seen uh, as many as I normally would. This one, I'm going to have to uh, do a dramatic jump, though, because I'm being chased by mobs. There we go. We made it. Haha, <laughs> idiots. Ah! There was another one waiting for me on the other side, ready to ambush me, but I escaped. I feel like this, uh, this thing is farther than I can, than I thought it was. That's another pool. Because I feel like, yeah, I can do that jump. I thought that, uh, the teleport ability was a lot less OP than that. But I guess I was wrong. Yeah, that is so far. I was definitely underusing that before this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Another pool. Maybe we'll actually get the one that I want now. <laughs> Anyways, this is the coordinates. Let's head at it. I just realized that I could be doing this from afar. I can just do that. And then it comes back to me, and then I can do it again. And then I can do it again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened to my boomerang? Okay, I guess I can't do that, because my boomerang just disappeared. Knock off on me. Okay, I have killed all of the shulkers. I don't know what happened to some of the shells, though. I can't seem to find them. I've only got four shells from that. Uh, also, I did actually find my boomerang. It was just sitting. Uh, it was just sitting in the water over here. I guess it just kind of glitched out when it hit one of the blocks. Um, but anyways, let's see. Let's see. Ah, uh, no spells in that one. Uh, oh, there we go. And. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's in this one? Come on. So hard to get this. There we go. Still no spells. Alright. I'm still hopeful. Only 50% to go. Ah, no. Okay. No spells in that one. And then... What about this one? Ah, unlucky. Okay, I guess it is time to go searching for another. Hopefully we actually find the village, because that is definitely one of the best structures. You can, uh, you can trade experience bottles for all sorts of treasures. I've actually just gone in a giant circle. I went all the way around this forest, uh, and this is actually the first one that we visited. You can see the little water glitch there that I have just ruined. Um, but yeah, the, uh, our house should be, like, somewhere over there. Uh, so I think I'm going to go this way, just because I, I still want to explore this place, you know? There, I've only found one out of the three structures that there are in this dimension. If we ever need to do any enchanting, this is the place to be. We get XP, ooh! That looks like something that we want to visit. Uh, we get XP, Lapis, uh, and, you know, not much else. <laughs> but XP and Lapis are definitely good for enchanting. Uh, that's another pool. I don't think that's a... Yeah, that's not a... Uh, that's not a gap we can go across. Maybe we can go across some sort of land. What is this from? <laughs> Maybe there's land at the other side of that gap that just hasn't rendered in, but hopefully that's the case because otherwise I see no other way across. Okay, that's just scary. That That is just, that's just scary. Oh my goodness, all the eyes of the spiders and the endermen. Too bad my eyes don't glow. I have purple eyes, but they don't glow. They look blue. <laughs> they look blue in this dimension. That's so weird. Uh, it's probably from like the biome tint. Um... Or whatever, because everything looks a bit bluish, but that looks very blue. Hey, I was right. That uh, all the way over there was where we were, and we've gone all the way around, and now 
we can cross. There isn't a land bridge, but luckily, I am an Enderman. And I can teleport. I can te- I, I can teleport. <laughs> Much easier for the longer gaps. And here we are. Those are the coordinates, and let's get into this. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good thing I got those coordinates. I knew that it would come in handy. I knew that I was going to die at one of them that was really far away, and then I would need the coordinates. I was being smart, okay? And you can't deny that. The coordinates are negative 385, so it's in that direction, which wouldn't make sense since we did go in that direction to find it, so... Uh, it's just like a 500 block journey, so not too bad. Hey, it's been a while, but I found it again. Ah! Oh my goodness, that is the, the second or third time that I've fallen into a hole while doing a clip. But, they should still all be here. I actually found a different one that I had already raided while on my way here. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, yes, I better do a clip, and then I realized that there were no shulkers and everything was looted. Aw, oh, man, I wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> uh, I did, I did realize how useful the boomerang is in that fight, though. Man, I thought I was getting better at this. <laughs> I, ah, oh, I really messed up there. Okay, it took, it took a while, but uh, we made it back. I fell, like, twice, but that's fine. I think there's only one... There's only one guy left, and this should be the right place, I think. Yeah, I hear it. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Over here? According to my subtitles, he's over here. Now he's over here. Where? What? Is he underneath the water? No. Is there... There's a cave down here. Ah. Uh, can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I can't see pickles. I still don't see him. <laughs> um. I mean, apparently he's somewhere over here. Ah, there he is. Hi, buddy. Come on, open up. Open up about your problems. There we go. And now to get out of here. Let's, uh. Hmm. Let's do that, and then swim, swim, we're good. Okay, let's see what loot we have. Cobwebs, all right, more bottles of enchanting. Uh, that's the same exact one. Come on, Ooh, got hit by the water there, okay, nothing special. Nothing special. Come on. Give me a spell. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting so unlucky with the spells, but... Oh, well. We have two mass heals. Time to find another structure. I guess the world said I wasn't allowed to. This, this area kind of just cuts off, and I kind of don't feel like... Walking all the way around. So, um. This is a quick way back. <laughs> I actually recorded too much for today's episode. So I'm actually going to have to cut it off right there. And. I guess I'll see you in part two. Which should be coming out tomorrow.